There he is. Sven, are you there? Can What's you up, me? motherfuckers? What's up, man? Oh, wow. How are you doing? <laughs> has, has, well, well uh, full disclosure, yeah. I'm nurturing a really, really bad hangover from yesterday, but, you know. Uh, what were you doing? <laughs> Oh my God, I was hanging out with my brother. <laughs> he was over here. We were discussing some website stuff. He does all my website work. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, he's, I'm the type of alcoholic when I start with one beer, you know, there's no end in sight until I uh, drop yeah, down somewhere. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of guy I am. Oh, I'm on camera. I see. Cool. I oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, anyway, it's nice to be here. Let's, you're calling from a fucking be... cave and you're calling, where are you, were you in Amsterdam? Uh, yeah, I'm in the Netherlands. Yeah, I'm a little bit further down south from Amsterdam, but yes, yeah, basically Amsterdam. That's you right. Amsterdam? That's right. Nice. I remember Amsterdam. Good, Amsterdam. Good time. You guys have it's been, nice, yeah? We have, um, yeah, yeah. I like it. Nice place. Uh, let, we drank a whole keg of uh, Smithix. I think it was Smithix. Was it Caffrey's? Was it Caffrey's? I think it was Caffrey's. Oh, it was Caffrey's. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. You didn't do, didn't do any uh, magic mushroom stuff like that. No, I we smoked a little bit of weed. I, re I remember rolling the worst joint that's ever been rolled in the history of the world. Mm. Mm. I could have you beat there. Yeah. I we went to Anne patience. Frank's house. That was fun. Oh, you've been, you know what's funny? I tried to go uh, several times to Anne Frank. Every time something went wrong, it's as if there's like some kind of a spirit trying to keep me out of that house. <laughs> I, I, I misplaced my tickets or something went wrong every time, three times in a row. Wow. But you know, I hear it's not that amazing. I mean, you you've seen it on the inside, but uh, what do you mean not that amazing? How amazing do you? Think I mean, do they mention be? the fact that she died of typhus at all, and that uh, bugs are forged by a hand sprang or whatever kind of fucking guy's name? I don't recall that uh, they, in the museum. Well, I mean, uh, I think they don't mention it. No, she did die of typhus <laughs> in a camp, right? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if that's the official story, but that's I what I so. hear at that, least. That's what I've. That's what I've heard. That's what I've read. <laughs> uh -huh. Did you and see Otto that Frank? He had a ghostwriter write that book of hers, where she's diddling her clit and some stuff like that. <laughs> uh, I, that's the one where he, I, I had he a, took that out, right? <laughs> yeah, he took that out. Can you believe it. that? Yeah. Uh, I had a, I had an idea, uh, an idea for a cartoon. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a cartoonist. I make wacky little internet cartoons. One of the ones that I lined up before I got my big cancellation handed to me. Yeah, was an Anne Frank cartoon, mm. and I was gonna re spoiler alert. I was gonna recontextualize Anne Frank as if it was like a Netflix trailer for a new cartoon. It was gonna have like the bean mouths and stuff like that. But it was instead of Anne Frank's diary, it was like Anne Fr Anne Frankly, and it was like her doing like a webcam vlog, and she's showing her zipper tits, and she has all these calls. It's like this weird. That's kind of uh, the idea I was running with, but. Yeah, I don't think the world's. I don't think the world's ready uh, for that one. And that got you canceled. No, was that? No, what got oh, you canceled? something else got me canceled. Oh. Well, all right. Here's what you can do. Can so you, wait, uh, you're, you you're promoting Butch Killigan. I want to make sure I uh, hit that. Your comic is Butch yeah. Killigan. Uh -huh. He's an animator. Yes, my an my indie my indie comic book is Butch Killigan. I sent you some links on Twitter if you need them, uh, Dick. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Yeah, the, the real, well, so thank you so much for allowing me to speak, to have a little bit of my voice intact, because, yeah, again, I was canceled by uh, the Kleins, the Heepy Kleigen, Kleinensteins, <laughs> Heepy yeah. Kleinenstein burgers. Yeah. yeah, they weren't too happy with the cartoon I made All called Eli Klein. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, you tell me when to shut up. No, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just loading your links up. Uh, okay, why'd you get... Your copy of Butch uh, sorry. How did you okay. get canceled by the, <laughs> the Kleins? He, Hilla Klein, Ethan Klein. You probably don't, Sean, I know you don't know who Ethan Klein is. You're going to have to tell me. Big YouTuber. Mm -hmm. It's actually very mm -hmm. funny. Uh, he and his wife, I think they're, she's from Israel. He's very Jewish. Uh, and they're like, you know where they met? You know where they met? They no. met on, what's that called when they, birthright, when you get to go to Israel? Did, did oh, they when really? They do the, yeah. They met the there program. in the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> Wow. That was their meat too? Taylor's oldest time. Yes, it's a beautiful <laughs> romance story. <laughs> oh, boy. And that's really true. I didn't make that up. That's, that's true. So Ethan Klein hit on someone at a Holocaust museum? Wow. I guess so, yeah. That's, yeah. Boy, that just, <laughs> it, the dirty. longer I think about it, the worse it sounds. Ooh. The balls on that guy, huh? What was the oh, line? Man, I don't know. I don't know. So the skinny. line it was very yeah. it was very long and they were getting their heads shaved. 
They were getting tattoos. Oh, in my her. God. So she's in the, she was in the IDF, right? Because she's Israeli. Right, yeah. The rare exception to the rule <laughs> that they're all hot. Okay. Because she looks like a whore. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she doesn't look like the promo images they, uh, you know. Right. Trying to make us believe they're all uh, hot baddies, but not so much in her case. So, yes, I made a cartoon of her in the IDF because these rumors were going around of her being an IDF soldier. One of the greatest, most, the biggest head count, they said. Called her Eli, the killer. They called her, I believe. And anyway, so I drew, I drew a uh, cartoon of her going on a killing spree, shooting little Palestinian kids in the cock as they do, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> right in the cock. <laughs> and, uh, Where can so I find this? I can't cartoon. reproduce. Uh, well, yeah. I wish you could, but it's gone. That's the whole, the whole problem with uh, it's the. It's gone clients, forever. Uh, Scrubbed from the internet. It's not even on like Rumble. Fucking gone. Hmm. It 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 should be somewhere. I bet if you find if you type in Eli Klein kills Eli Klein murders, kills. it's probably on Twitter somewhere. Yeah, I would willing to bet. Uh, Ethan just shared a cartoon. So it's um, what's really funny about this couple, yeah. Ethan the Kleins, uh -huh. is they're super progressive, and then they teamed up with that Hassan Piker guy who's also super progressive. Um, mm. He's like an idiot communist, has a giant like a uh, champagne socialist. He's okay. a you know millions sure. of dollar house, and he's always telling I, his audience of stupid kids how they I need to take over the establishment, which sure. is not wrong, but right. But you're doing coming it from you is dumb. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and the things you're proposing to turn it into are much worse than yeah, what we have. Yeah. Uh, so they started doing. They started having like a bromance or whatever, and they're doing their show. But then after the the leftovers, yeah. But then after the October seventh attacks. Hassan is like super pro Palestine, and Ethan is like super pro Israel. Yeah. So there's just tons of ant hatred and anti. Like their audiences are fucking terrible. Sure, right? sure. So it's funny. Yeah. Ethan Klein's like crying, reading all the the comments that people are leaving about him. Yeah. Like, which I can't even repeat. You know? Yeah, yeah, I would imagine that. Uh, okay. Here. It is kind. Of, it's kind. Of, it's kind of funny how like uh, the Jews have created this fifth column of through their massive push of mass immigration, they've created this kind of um, fifth column of anti-Semitism now in the West, which is kind of biting them in the ass. It seems, huh? Yeah. It's kind of turning on and on in, 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 themselves. Uh, it's fun to see. I I can't find the fucking cartoon. Sucks. I wish I, I dug it up, I guess. Um, let me see. Maybe I can have some. No, Ralph had it. He had it? Well, he was he playing it, it? When, you were, when you were on his show. Uh, shout out to Ethan Ralph. Thanks for having me, too, on the kill stream. Go check that out. Um, Eli Klein shooting. Eli Klein cartoon. Let's see if I, I can it. find it for you. Oh, oh yeah, you got it. Yep. Nice. So you made this. I made that, yeah, in one sitting. Wow, very impressive. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Pretty brutal, huh? Pretty good. He is shooting kids, yeah. Man, like metal, he is. like death metal music. Huh? It looks yeah, like right? Death Clock, I think I said. Yeah. Cool. You guys got it. <laughs> are, are her, are, is the color of her eyes? Uh, are they that blue? Yeah, well, see, here's the thing. I didn't even. I made this cartoon seven years ago. People were noting like, "Oh, he made her eyes blue." I, blah blah. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I can't imagine I would have made her eyes blue if they weren't. So I actually googled that, and yeah, her eyes are blue. Yeah, I'm just. It's just something that stuck out to me. Little Ashkenaz. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's look at. Uh, Probably. Let's look at the. Which Butch Killigan should we play first? Um, what shall we do? What shall we do? Maybe that, uh, just a story trailer, maybe something. So people can get like an idea of what, it's like chapter trailer or something like that. Trailer they can two. get a little bit of an idea of what okay. it is. Mm. All right. Maybe. It's like, a one, it's like one minute. It's cool for people to check out. It's my comic book, Butch Killigan, right now on Kickstarter. Please go back it right now. Did you get your copy? I don't think this That's is. not the one. That's not the one. Okay. No, it's another this trailer, one. but... 203. This one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Progress. Yes. 304. Someone's home being burglarized. 366. A violent crime's committed. 504. An alleyway rape. And yeah, it don't stop. Another 187. On an undercover cop. These codes ain't just numbers on a radio beam. They're cries for help. Attention all 
District 7 units, we have a 969 in Ultra City, port 283.70. Responders needed on the scene ASAP. Copy that. This is Scorpio Zero. We're on the case. Ay, Dios mio! You made me spill everywhere! Hmm. These are troubled times, Pancho. And you're driving way past the speed limit, FYI. The city's changing at dizzying speeds. But I'm not gonna let it get away from me. Great. Flash the lights and play the siren then. I have a family I would like to get home to. Speeding's best done without blaring the siren. Motorists tend to freak out and make unsafe maneuvers when a shrieking alarm vehicle appears behind them. More than uh -huh. We must hurry. Here, blow on this real quick so I can activate the solid fuel nitrous oxide turbo booster. That's the B-A-I-I-D. <laughs> the driver is required to blow on that. I ain't putting my mouth on that. Besides, I took back a few road sodas while you were enjoying your little siesta there. You've been drinking? Drinking while driving? That's conduct on becoming an officer. Says you're asleep on the job, guy. You're nuts if you think I'm going to participate in your foolish not- <laughs> Don't get all choked up about it. <laughs> I, I, successful. Boost authorized. Solid fuel, nitrous oxide, turbo boost now. Strap in, punch. I'm about to rattle your day. <laughs> there you go. Stay tuned. Hell yeah. The next chapter is coming soon. Well, Who does this voice? It's an awesome uh, voice. Yeah, there's been several different voice actors uh, for Butch Killigan. Uh, this guy kind of flaked on me at a certain, certain point because I oh. was getting way too based for his taste. Oh, really? And I think he kind of, he actually kind of disappeared off the internet. It was a guy called. Uh, I forget even what this guy's name was, Maximus or something, some kind of a gaming channel type of guy. Oh, no. But yeah, that's Butch Gilligan. Just a little taste. That's like the first few pages of the book. One hundred and sixteen pages of uh, uh, this this graphic novel ready to ship. If you can go to the Kickstarter right now, I know there's there is there any going to be any links anywhere. But I have to say, I can't, there's no share screen, so I can't really see what's going on. I'm just kind of like, it's just us sitting you know, here. Like, get, uh, yeah. oh, okay, <laughs> cool. see. There, look, there. I think you can see us now. See? Hell yeah! Ah, there it is. Cool. All right, we're tiny. All right, now I can kind of. So it's like a comedy Judge Dread kind of futuristic city. Cops that can do judge, whatever they want. It's Judge. Well, it's Judge Judge Dread a little bit. It's also Demolition Man. Yeah. It is Cobra. Cobra. Uh, there's even a little bit of some of the Steven Seagal uh, stuff in there. Awesome. Um, but then also it's 80s, uh, um, 80s street justice, cyberpunk anime vibes, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of different things going on there. But uh, the crux of the story, the promise of the premise is Butch Killigan eventually wakes up in this dystopian future. But whereas in, in Judge Dredd, it's this very narrow, like basically fascist thing where you cannot swear and you cannot do this and that. Yeah. In Butch Killigan, it's flipped on its head. It's more like this, this 24-hour Burning Man festival, gay, orgy, <laughs> satanic fucking... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the distance and of the future. future. It's the actual future. <laughs> it's the actual future. Plus, plus, plus what I'm kind of playing with is... These, but again, I mentioned this before somewhere. Like, I'm not using terms like sjw or fucking whatever to fuck yeah, woke yeah. or stuff like that yeah but i'm playing I'm with these two that shit. masculine honestly yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just fucking tired at this point yeah and you want it to be more timeless than that you don't want this to just be just one this thing that, that fits narrowly in this time frame right um so i'm playing with like masculine and feminine energies and basically butch is this hyper masculine escapist fantasy figure that then wakes up in this babified, pussified, very much chaotic, feminine energy ruled universe, and he has to figure out how to deal with this uh, with this whole fucking thing, right? Where, and where does the he get the sun's partner? been? Yeah, partner. partner. Where does he get? Yeah, where's where, where he gets him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I Mexican, like the buddy the sleepy cop thing. Mexican. Thing. Yes, yes, I like that guy. Yeah, no, well, listen, this what you just saw is basically their origin story. Obviously, we're going we're going to go into their buddy cop dynamic. Sure. Yeah. But you yeah. know uh, where they met? I don't fucking know. Yeah, you all right, all right. <laughs> well, yeah, I just like that you know because Academy because he's been a, he's been awake though. But that's like what a cop looks like. That's what's funny because this guy's been asleep, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's he's been. I in like stasis that the well, no, 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 looks like a the, a vibrator. Now he's got a. You're gonna yeah, put well, something up. Go ahead. Yeah. 
So, so, okay, so yeah, so of course, again, I'm playing with these themes where everything is like fucking uh, gay and babified and all this stuff. Yeah. So now, now, yeah, you can't start your car without sucking a cock first, basically, in this universe. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> that's what that, that's what that's about. Um, but they're actually but doing yeah. that. Uh, uh, Massey, Thomas Massey is like, the only, he's trying to stop this uh, bill, uh, law that says you have to have a, it's not only a, 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 a breathalyzer in your car, but if you drive erratically, if the car thinks you're drunk driving, it will shut off. Oh, That's a new rule Fuck for that. like, uh, I think it's like 2035 or something. Mm. Holy shit. And, he, and his whole thing is like, Gilda? you guys can't be tracking. If you are if you know how they're driving, you're tracking them. Like well, that's yeah, yeah. hugely oh, no, illegal. Sure. Um, it should be. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So. I mean, we we were when I was writing all this stuff. At, at a certain point, reality started to catch up on the ridiculous nonsense that I was coming up with. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. then I just I had to dial, crank it up to like a ridiculous, almost farcical degree now. To stay ahead. <laughs> like, yeah, to stay ahead. Yeah. Like, like one what? of the funny things. What did you have? Well, you one of the funny up. things that were. One of the funny things, and in order to block out harmful UV rays, they basically put this dome over the whole city that's displaying 24-7 ads. Sure. <laughs> but then that, yeah. fuck, that completely fucked up the environment even further, even fucking up gestation to the point where, like, birth rates are completely out of whack. Everything's completely fucked up, basically, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and another, yeah. so another, another, another example of that. Okay, okay, one of the things that, ha that started happening, we had this, these... Um, I came up with these ideas of like suicide, like a suicide. Okay, I'm really spoiling a lot of stuff here, I guess. This is one of the, one of the things I'll say, like a, a suicide based economy. Yeah. We're in, we're in like it. dead bodies, dead bodies are being used as manure to, uh, to feed the worm fields uh -huh. where all the, ins the invertebrate worms are being uh, grown to, yeah. for, for food. Uh huh. And it's called a uh, humanure. That's what the what the what the shit is called. <laughs> human, but then shit, but then start, it's good. shit like that actually started happening. Like yeah, yeah in Sweden, true. you literally can you have like phone booths that you can knock on and they kill, they'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like suicide. you have like suicide boot boots and shit like that. Like yeah. that stuff is actually really rapidly. And they always, they through, do end up using names that are that you would use in like a dystopian yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. comedy. Yeah. Right. Like whenever, right. They, funny, whenever you see one of those things on the news, like why the fuck would you call it? Like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yes. It's uh, hilarious. Uh, <laughs> and I think, I think it's funny too, because I am sort of like an accelerationist. And the, the reason why I think I became this through writing this story, I'm like, we need to just fucking pedal to the metal, uh, hurry yeah. it up. Just let's get through, let's go through hell. Yeah. And then maybe we can get, come out of the other end. I think. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah, there's maybe. this, uh, I, mean, I feel that way with the economy too. It's like, well, yeah. here comes, like everyone's like, well, yeah. here comes a big crash. It's got to come the big crash. Yeah. And I go like, it's not, it's, it's just, not. It's just it's another just gonna, one. It's just going to sink. We're just going to yeah. kind of yeah. glide into hell and through hell. It's right. going to be like crash landing in Jupiter. You know, it's yeah. all, there's no ground. You just uh -huh. slowly sink into a burning a bit i think they're even they, they even like uh, adjusted their strategy in like a gaza right now like israel they they thought they could go full pedal to the metal right. carpet bomb the shit out of it yeah then they didn't get the support they thought they were gonna get right. so now they're kind of like okay let's just do it like we always do <laughs> guys the, the boiling frog let's keep that let's keep that up so that uh, sort of seems what's going on right now i, I do know, love though, seeing but. israel on its heels i cannot believe they didn't oh, get yeah. support. I, I can't believe they didn't get support for just wiping out Gaza, I I was yeah. sure when that started huh, that they, yeah. that the whole world would be like yeah fucking kill them all kill them all nuke them, but yeah. now they're like whoa okay. well we found this mind comp in a kids living room living room so that's pretty bad right uh, yeah yes yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of test, test, testing yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh so your uh your your voice actor stopped working with you because you're so based how based are you yeah is that a <sighs> Oh, I'm so freaking bad. I went for one of my, I do a show too, and uh, it's called Sven Streams. Okay. You can find it on SvenStoffels.com. One of my episodes, I went to Auschwitz to find the pool. Oh, boy. <laughs> Pretty based, huh? Did you find it? I did. You did find it. <clears throat> yeah, and another thing is, so they're very strict that you cannot get away from like the crew or the group, like yeah, the tour. Yeah, right. So I had to get around taking pictures and stuff, and them not getting mad at me. Oh, this is so stupid. I I, pret I so I pretended to be retarded. 
uh, you know. You so know. I was standing there like a real. So I, there's pictures. How hard of me did you have to pretend? Not that bad. Not, <laughs> not that, that, that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> how hard did you have to pretend? <laughs> Yeah, you asked me how based I was. Well, I mean, like Pierce Brosnan, I'd be like, I wouldn't believe he was retarded. Just looking at him. Just catch me on a bad day. I won't have to act. Yeah, exactly. No, I just kind of, I just kind of slip my legs like this, sort of like Mr. Beating it, like axe legs. That's all you need to do, really. That's all you need to do, and people stop asking questions. You know, that's like, aw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Yeah, something else is going on because their mind will just extrapolate that there's other things going on. If you see somebody kind of walking like that, like a pigeon tail, yeah. a pigeon blank tail. look on their face, then yeah. it's like, oh, he can. It's probably not even a real camera. Let him go. You kind of <laughs> have like a retarded yeah. build, though. Like you're, you know, you're stocky. You got. You mean like very like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re- you got retard strength. Uh, I can tell. Uh, retard strength, like an orangutan sort of like. I think they have yeah. similar builds. It looks. I think it feels. <laughs> We're similar type of guys, you and I. It feels like. Yeah, we are. Uh, Unless you're wearing like multiple sweatshirts, then you've got retard strength. No, this is it. This is it. This is it, my guy. I want. This is one funny thing that happened when we were into Auschwitz. Auschwitz, no, it is. Auschwitz. Oh, yeah. So quote unquote <laughs> Auschwitz. Auschwitz, apparently. Yeah. No, there was there was like a touring car bus outside, and it had like an error or like something was wrong with its klaxon, with its horn. And they were trying to find the owners of this fucking bus, but they couldn't find them. So to co- so constantly while going through Auschwitz, we had to hear this. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. A constant loud horn, they which really fi- took away from the atmosphere. Uh, yeah. It took away they from the whole immersive. experience. They couldn't find like, the oh, bus man, You had a, like a horn for, what is this, like um, the time machine? Like they're summoning us to be <laughs> gassed, <I think>. right? <laughs> Or eat whatever they know. do. Yeah. I don't know. Machine. The original, not the new one. Right. Yeah. Right, but enough about Auschwitz. You know, we've talked about Auschwitz for way too long. I feel. So, what's been your uh, <laughs> what's been your cartooning career? You're very good. I'm really excited Ooh. about this. I'm gonna. Um, I'm back in the. You can get the. You can back the digital copy. On you your can side, do that too. Cool. Obviously. I mean, just for a little mm-hmm. bit to help you out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hell yeah! Anybody cool. Anybody listening can do that at butchkilligan.com. I think. And please review it. Let let that lady who reviewed uh, what's his name again, Eric July. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let her take a look at my book too. The I would uh, I would hope it comes up. But yeah, yeah, I really like that guy. That's so fucking insulting. <laughs> uh, he's thrown a couple fits. I've got some videos of him throwing fits. He's he's thrown a big fit about over the last week. Yeah, over the last oh, week. Yeah. What have you been doing? Oh boy, uh, nothing really. Nothing really. Nothing okay. really. Yeah. Um, it's been a fun saga. I'm still catching up on the whole thing, but yeah, it's been really funny. This uh, this Eric July stuff. Yeah, it's called again. Uh, Ripaverse. I, yeah, right. Ripaverse yeah. and Isom. <laughs> Isom. Uh, so really cool Sean, stuff. so he made. You know how I've been asking everybody, what's your favorite part of Isom? Yeah, yeah. And which... then that kind of caught on because nobody, everybody, like looks like they're shitting in their pants when they get asked that. All these celebrities, all these e-celebrities. Because, like, well, uh, because they nothing read it. stands. Oh, oh, they haven't read it. They've read it. Yeah, sure. Or because nothing stands out. That's, yes. Or know. nothing is good in it. So they they can't say anything yeah. and they don't want to say it's like they, they can't say anything because then it, it calls their judgment into question. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, you can't I, I you it. read it and you say it's good because it sucks. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, that toehead pronouns guy went on this big rant about how saying what's your favorite part of isom is like uh, disingenuous right. and like and eric july called it gay oh, uh that's... but then that didn't work so then they made it into a t-shirt oh it's uh let me let me find it uh, i saw that i was so fucking funny by the way the toe head you mentioned we went over that guy too on my stream that guy is so fucking gay dude <laughs> my immersion was broken my immersion <laughs> Because of the pronouns. Uh. <laughs> yeah, holy fuck. Yeah, what's your favorite T-shirt? Yeah, what do you think of that guy? That guy sucks. That's like the, the prototypical consumer, just fucking filthy bugman. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He was really, really, really upset because... What was he saying? It was something like, and he's like in front of a wall of Funko Pops. It couldn't be more of a cliche. <laughs> he's crying about it's, it's really it's about really pronouns. Bad. I recommend like a drop down at the start of your your video game to pick your pronoun in a space adventure where, I mean, if you have faster yeah. than light travel, you can definitely change your gender because we have infinite energy. So right, right, yeah. Right. Um, What's your so trying to take it back? 
Yeah, they're taking it back. Taking it back. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, which is hilarious because it's like, this would never exist as a shirt on its own. Right. Like, no one would ever have no. a shirt that's what's your favorite part. That's Mm-mm. fucking dumb. <laughs> So it, it uh-huh. only re- it only exists as like an inversion of a reflection, uh-huh. right? Yeah, which is just beautiful. Which is my favorite type of yeah, right, art. Right. So uh, it's got I saw him with his arms crossed, looking tough, and then the Alpha Core guy looking tough on the other side. Right. Like they're threatening you. They're gonna fight you if you don't. Real intimidating. Yeah. yeah, it's intimidating. Although, Although I do really feel we're kind of looking, we're kind of looking down at them though. They're really tiny guys, really. <laughs> yeah, you know they are. They're looking yeah. up at you. Yeah. Uh, not that intimidating if you think about it. But. Uh-huh. What's what's <laughs> your favorite? Like they're like tough, right? What's your favorite part? Right, it's almost like a like the worst army out of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what's your favorite yeah. part of the army? You want to be an army of one? Um, and I just want to know what is your favorite part. Like right. I still want to know. Yeah, honestly. People. Yeah, just tell me what part, any part of uh-huh. it that was good to you. Right. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Let me go back. Yeah, and then somebody made a joke about the, or were you about to show that the meme? Like, did you even read it? Oh yeah, I saw. Yeah, I don't know where that is, it. but I did. Somebody changed the shirt, so it says, "Did you even read it?" In the same yeah. It's funny. I mean, it's so it's so cute. It's so cute. This poor guy. But you asked me my uh, my um, my start in cartoons. If you could pull up a, a, on a SvenStoffels.com, there's a tab called cartoons. There's some of them there. You might recognize some of them. I did that. Uh, that uh, Biden uh, one that got really big that they ripped and then put on um, on a uh, it got on Joe Rogan and then it got on a uh, oh really huh. I think I think uh, Trump Jr. even re- retweeted that one but of course they clipped my fucking uh, my tags out of it <laughs> get no credit I got nothing out of yeah, that of no. course I see Chip Chipperson uh, which I'm a George yeah the <laughs> oh George Floyd George Floyd. that one's kind of funny too have you seen that one I don't think so let's see. <laughs> Greatest man I never knew. I miss him so much. Late every night. I never had too much to say. Too much was on his mind. I never really knew him. Now it seems so sad. Chauvin with a Nazi armband smiling on his neck. And now George Floyd's in heaven. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait. (laughs) Oh boy. (laughs) All right. That's that one. Uh-huh. And it <laughs> recommends really an earn, earnest movie in the uh, makes sense. Yeah, yeah right. Follow up to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one. That you've probably seen this one. I the think Joe, Biden, Joe Biden, Biden says they're done. I think you might have seen that one. Yeah, let's see it. Everybody by the has. Way, you know, I got, uh, oops, oops. A lot of I got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. He loves kids jumping on his it's, lap. It's perfect. Amazing. You know, you didn't see that one. That one was no, probably one of these that. ones. And then Amazing. and then this one, that last one. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> That one got yeah, me canceled. Anymore, that got so. the, the yeah. Chai Com uh, party <laughs> out on my ass. Yeah. So you've got a a Chinese uh, uh, guy, a, uh, a stereotypical <laughs> representation with uh, Mickey Mouse, Mickey ears. Mouse ears. Well, here's the thing. This or, was so. This is around Corona. Literally, Corona hits. Okay. I had to flee New York in order to, to get back into my country. I was in New York at the time, yeah. and um, then this this meme starts to pop up about Corona Chan, which I don't know if you remember this. I do this remember is that. literally, yeah. This this little Asian anime girl with like bonbons. It's like virus balls. And like she's all cute and stuff, oh, yeah. and I'm like, how the fuck is this a proper representation of this deadly virus that's happening? So I yeah. thought, you know what, I'll make a little bit more of an accurate representation of this, which did not go over well. Uh. <laughs> oh, hey, great. So it's a hot body, oh, uh, gross oh, face, oh, making out with a bat. Yikes. 
mix. It's more accurate. Yeah. I don't That's know great. why that. There you go. I don't know why that didn't play. Me either. Right. I, you know. Listen, I grew up with like uh, smutty European cartoons and stuff like that. We uh, were used to a lot worse than oh, stuff yeah. that was going over in the United States. You sure. know, it was really. Even kid stuff was filled with tits and sex and just edgy shit. So to me, it was like, who gives a shit? What the fuck? But then, of course, in America, it's like, this harkens back to the Holocaust. <laughs> These are really offensive cartoons. Ah! You know, so, oh, does it? Okay, whoops. Too many and parents then, uh, worrying about other people's kids. We did have uh, tits and, and violence, at least, in cartoons. Right? Didn't we? Yeah, like heavy metal violence. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. I mean, Ren and Stimpy is one of my greatest influences, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. That I was pretty that. gross. That was gross. But yes, yeah, so, so I got, um, I, I, when that hit, I got like, that one went like 15 million on Instagram and another thing, it, it went fucking crazy. And then my phone started blowing up to the point where I couldn't use it anymore. It was just pop-ups everywhere. Wow. And it was all just fucking die, white pig, you fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Because uh, of the coronavirus I, one? Yes. It went, and this, and this is for a month. For it's a month, a lot of Chinese they people. Took, I mean, they took down my YouTube channels. They took down my Patreon. They took down my Instagram. Uh, everything got fucking uh, taken away back then. Oh God! Uh, it and sucks. it kept going and going and going. I, 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 I started screenshotting fucking um, death threats to the point where I'm like, there's no point in this. It's just an endless stream of death threats. I might have broken the record on death threats. It was so many. It was like per second. Blah, 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 Emails from her. They were doing petitions. I was on Asian news websites and stuff like that. Do they have like a file photo of you of smoking like 50 cigarettes like Homer Simpson? Yeah, yeah. This cartoonist. I don't thought that. Hold on. It was even worse. I was in Trump Tower and I had a Trump hat on as a joke and I was just looking like this into the camera like <clears throat> like a fucking psycho. That's the picture they used of me in oh, all these news articles yeah, where cool. I really looked like an evil psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that uh, finally at, at some point that ended, thank Christ. But yeah, so I will think twice now about doing something like that, like that Anne Frank cartoon idea I had. Because it's like, is it worth it? No, it costs me more than it than it gets me. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, they did they did something like that on Instagram where they tried to like reboot Anne Frank. Um, oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, is, Israel, some some group related to oh really like anti Semitism yeah, yeah. group. Sure. Um, they would make posts oh. as though Anne Frank had an Instagram. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. see, see, she fucking. You see, that's <laughs> literally something that I was thinking of. Like how yeah. insensitive and fucking manipulative that would be. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, oh fuck! I can't. Maybe find it's. It. You Maybe it's it was still, TikTok. Yeah. You're literally or resurrecting a like, corpse, basically. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, Why are people on TikTok making fan edits of Anne Frank? Maybe that's uh, hyperborean edits of Anne Frank <laughs> <laughs> marching. With the black sun behind her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you vey. It's hard to find these things, these little gems that pop up. No, uh, they, I know. Like, oh, man, this is so funny, but I have no way of. That sounds so good. Did you hear that they were going to do <laughs> this DLC for Fortnite? We're going to put a Holocaust museums in Fortnite. You can uh, visit buddy, the Holocaust. Museum. I had that guy on the show. Um, For real? Yes, we had oh, him on uh, on Biggest Problem, Luke Luke Gerard. Oh, um, he is surprisingly based. He's like he oh. hates the ADL because he says the ADL is like making people hate Jews, well, and they're like they're so aggressive it makes people like yeah. non responsive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He true, said, true. <laughs> he said um, <laughs> after the show, he said like you know honestly the number doesn't even fucking matter. It's that they're killing people because of their race. Like in France, they only mm -hmm. in France they only killed like a hundred thousand Jews or something like that. That was that was what he said. I don't know. You know, I don't. I'm not an expert. No, I don't design I don't. no Holocaust. Museum. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but it's the point is that why they did it and yeah. i'm like wow i've never heard anybody say that um mm -hmm. he's surprisingly cool and he hated those there's these, all these billboards in la that are like when's the last time uh somebody tried to shoot up a church 
Remember that one that we saw, Sean? Uh, it was like it was like yeah for I'm synagogue th- shooting or something like. It was very aggressive. It was a very aggressive ad on how well that's yeah Jews yeah. have to worry about synagogues getting shot up, and you lucky white Christian men don't have to worry about that shit. Um, yeah. He hated mm-hmm. those, even though that has happened too. I mean, but then why is he putting a Holocaust museum in Fortnite as a farce? It's as a gag. It's all Holocausts. That's the other thing that I didn't know. It's not just. Uh, the Jewish Holocaust. Oh. He's putting like what, the, every yeah. like Rwandan genocide. He's putting oh, all yeah. genocides Genocide. in it. Yeah. Uh, I really I went in there wanting to fuck with him and trip him up and make fun of him. But after the interview, I was like, "Fuck, man, you're right." Yeah. Well. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Reasonable, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I can't wait to go there. I can't wait to pay the business. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was asking I too, like, are people allowed to like, you know, stand in any kind of formations when they're oh, in there that they want to like, like, no, it's, like it's, Hubble, like Hubble Hotel or yeah. whatever back in the day. And he goes, no, no, it's one idea. at a time. Like it's own, it's singular. Uh, he had his, oh, man, man, he had all of his bases covered. I, I just couldn't bust them. So yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I was in, a, I was in a hike uh, a couple of months ago with my buddies in Germany, and um, we are. Feet were so fucked up after two days. We were like, "Is there anything else to do?" We were kind of sick of walking, yeah. and there was like uh, this, this uh, Hitler uh, Nazi, like an old Nazi school bunker type of thing, a museum. Uh-huh. So we're like, "Okay, fuck it, let's go there." And uh, as we go in there, uh, right next to the entrance and exit, there is a uh, what is it called? Fuck, a contemplation room oh, that right. you can go in. You can go in there to cry if it was just too much for you. And by the way, this is n- this is nothing. It's literally just some costumes, and that's it. Yeah. Not, no deaths happened there. It was like a recruitment yeah. facility or something. You know what I'm saying, but still, if you just so, oh my god, I just need to go into this room to cry. They had a dedicated cry room, basically. Uh, it's uh, just we have so one of those. pretentious. It's like, called a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The entrance of your studio there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I just, I just thought, I don't know, man. It just seems like that seems like such a marketing ploy to even put something there. Like, come on, like as yeah. if I'm gonna have to cry from this. Just take me to the goddamn gift shop. <laughs> they have it. Do you know in I'm Auschwitz sure. the big one, the big one, like the gate? You know, have like the it's iconic. Yeah. The, yeah. You have like Auschwitz Birkenau, and you have the one that with the Arbeit macht frei uh, gate. Yeah, that one is the iconic one, and then the, with the, free, the yeah. train, the train rails with the gate. That one is a little bit further away. Uh-huh. That has a fucking gift shop. They yeah. made that. That gate is a goddamn gift shop. Oh, man, you can. But I have I have fridge magnets. I have Auschwitz fridge magnets right now yes. on my fridge. Wow. Should I go get him? I'll go yeah, get him. Go I can, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll show you. Is it worth the twelve bucks? That's- is oh it, boy, this is real. That's so crass. <laughs> they sell. Hope you can like, see this. <gasps> yeah, why? Well, yeah, back uh, it up a little bit. Oh yeah, okay. So can you see these? You got a fridge magnet that has a picture. He's a little of credit chain. card sized fr- yeah. Auschwitz <laughs> fridge <laughs> magnets that I got from the gift shop. Can <laughs> you believe it? Were they selling any lamps? <laughs> Wait one second, I can't hear you. Uh, that's just for the best. That's real. Do they have shot glasses? <laughs> shot, shot glasses? glasses? <laughs> Why not? I yeah. wish. It's a lot of books. I mean, this was the funniest. I thought it wasn't really. It wasn't really a lot of funny stuff. They haven't crossed no. over into funny, ironic skirts and stuff <laughs> oh, like boy, that. Yeah, like striped a New pajamas. Oh boy! Like that. <laughs> oh, God damn! Imagine you can buy a striped pajama <laughs> swag. Oh. I copped striped pajama oh. swag. Oof. Like a far side comic where he's pushing the gate at Auschwitz, but it says pull, you know? <laughs> Twist on yeah, the old yeah, classic, that's right. right? <clears throat> or a nice lampshade. Uh, that's what I said when you didn't right. have your headphones. Fuck! Uh, ah, um, right. <laughs> <laughs> so how are things in uh, in the Netherlands, I guess, and no, all the... You guys are uh, ahead of us when it comes to... Uh, government crackdowns on yourselves, right? I don't know. I just assume you're. I don't know. I feel. I feel it's sort of like. I feel like all the sodomy and all that type of stuff is more like an American export. So yeah. I kind of look at America, gotcha. what happens over there, and then it get a little. It's election season here, so everything's in sort of in high gear. A lot of protests as well. We have a lot of uh, a big Muslim community here in the Netherlands too. Oh yeah. Oh, do you? And it's just a lot of fucking nice. bullshit. Yeah. Very yeah. nice, beautiful, just nice, uh, reasonable people. I find. Uh, anyways, 
So we have uh, so the thing here in in the Netherlands, you have uh, the extreme left wing, a WEF type of political parties, yeah. and then the conservative right wing is basically like Mossad agents that are like uh, uh, psyoping everybody as well. Oh. So it's just yeah. you know there is no choice within yeah. this uh, democratic scheme illusion. There's no yeah. real choice. Nothing else to do but make cartoons. Yeah, that's cool, man. I Me mean, could do. Yeah, there's plenty of other stuff to do, but you know, I I chose this uh, yeah, this yeah, pathetic yeah. existence. Well, you know. Let me see. What what do you add on your, <laughs> on your Butch Killigan Kickstarter? You got to be. Vito. Oh yeah, it's doing pretty good. Excuse me. Vito got seventy grand for his. Uh, voice Excuse me. Talk. Okay, well we're not there yet, but we have a couple more weeks to go. Uh, we're not wow, at seventy grand. Was that his first book? Hey, you're fine. Yeah, it was his super killer book. He made seventy. Oh my god, that's that pretty. Shit. That's pretty decent. Uh, you're at, at uh, 12,000 12, bucks. It's pretty good. Butch Killigan. 12,000 bucks. Yeah. And we're also running an Indiegogo at the same time with a variant cover. That one also has a couple of K in there as well. So it's probably close to like 15 almost probably. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, well, hopefully we can get it up to 70K too. So everybody, if you have not ordered your book yet, please go check out uh, the Kickstarter and uh, go pre-order your book. Again, this is 116 pages, ready to ship. You're not backing my dream that I now have to maybe realize in a, two, in a couple of years. No, this is done. You're getting your book, boom. After campaign is finished, fulfillment starts. See, that's a good selling point. Yeah, Vito is delaying his yeah. book. All, he's in like, he's pushing it to Cause, February now. Because you know- See you guys, Vito's yeah. book's never happening. You should have never backed that. You should have waited for a Butch killing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a scheme, this is a fucking- Just kidding. I'm yeah. sure it's going to be great. Uh, are you ever coming back to America? Are you coming back to New York? Yes, I might actually uh, go. Uh, I've heard reports that, that I might be invited to a Comic Con in uh, Texas. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. August, August. So I might be doing that. Um, last time I was in New York City, didn't have a great experience there. Why not? We had to run from. We had to run from a subway because there was a shooting. Oh. Talked about this on my last one. Huh. Pretty yeah, exciting, yeah, yeah. Shooting on the subway. It's pretty cool. Hey, listen, yeah. here's the thing. I, we, we were walking down to... Uh, if you're a listener, gun violence. You got to get some of that. If you're listen, and a listener of mine, just tune out. I've told this story recently, but we were <laughs> walking down into the subway station, and all of a sudden, there's like gun sounds, but it doesn't loud, sound like hollow. It's like clack, 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 right? Yeah. And I, and I, I just kept walking because I'm, I'm not used to this stuff. And then as people started running towards me, I'm like, okay, I guess that's, that we're going that way now. Yeah. And I look, I look up the stairs and all my friends, I was with a group of friends. They were already fucking gone. I'm like, <laughs> hey, what? Nobody could have warned me. Nobody could have said anything. So they just, whoop, they, they, they bolted. So I'm running and I'm running and we kept running. And I'm, I, I'm at the point, like, can we just stop running? Holy shit. Like this gunman, there's no way he's going to catch up to us. Yeah. But one of our friends, he had like a police scanner app on his phone or some shit. So he knew exactly where to go and what wow. was happening. Oh, wow. So we were running. I mean, yeah, I, when I was telling this story, so was, yeah, people in New York, they have to be prepared for this shit, I guess. So, yeah, but we ran outside and all of a sudden, like, like a movie, like yee, cop cars pulled up and it turned out to be some bum who uh, just shot at a, at a train or some shit. Huh. Nothing too big, but yeah, it was, uh, was pretty nuts. That'd be fun to shoot at a train. Things like throwing rocks at a train. That's I mean, fun. I, when I was a kid, I did, I threw rocks at a train. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Or I ride a ride a train and shoot at all the bums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That would be pretty. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Is that does that happen in Butch Killigan? Shooting at bums, It might. killing bums. A lot, a lot of bum um, shooting. There is a, there's some uh, gratuitous amounts of uh, violence. Yes, okay. this first book has a has a very long, twisted psychedelic trip scene in it. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. That uh, people are uh, raving about. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to spoil too much. I feel like I've given away way too many little plot points already, but you just got to experience this for yourself, guys. No, Go check you it can't out, give okay? away too many plot I, points. I think you gave away the right amount. Yeah. I got a feel for it. I'm invested. Yeah. Comedy demolition. Right. Co a comedy ju Judge Dredd demolition man, I'm in. Yeah, sure. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. And, and also, listen, see, I remember one of the things that I did when I was making like the covers and stuff like that and the promo images. I was like, you know what? I'm going to remove all these frowns and I'm going to put them upside down. I'm going to give this guy a bright smile. Ah, like he's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Because all these other comics, everybody's like this. Ugh. 
Mm, man. Yeah, yeah, Dude, he is. Man. I see him it's smiling. Just, uh, uh, who, who wants to pick up a comic book where a guy's like sitting like this under the cover? Like, oh, I can't yeah. wait to delve into this guy's. I'm sure he's a lot of fucking, fun. Yeah, this guy's a fun to hang out with. That's I know it. it's going to be good a fun guy. How much hate you have in your heart? I can oh. tell how you know it's just boiling and seething under the surface, and you're barely letting a little I'm bit ready, out. I'm ready. I'm ready to pop. Yeah. Okay. That's what I. This that's what much. I want to see in an artist mm -hmm. that I that I support. It, yeah. It's just. I'm about to. I'm about to snap. You're going to see me in a newspaper oh. article at some point. Sorry. Yeah. Uh. All right, no, yeah. <laughs> Sven, thank you for coming. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, dudes, thanks for having me. Thank yeah, you, because, yeah, I I'm, I won't be able to stream onto my uh, my regular channels because it's been fucking striked by the Kleinsensteins. But thank oh, you yeah, guys so him. much. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Got to do it again sometime. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, take Call it easy. Again. Butch Kelligan, uh, 100, 100 episodes, 100 issues, right? Let's see it. Pleasure. It's 100,000 issues. Thank you so much, guys. See ya. Bye. Peace. What'd you think? I like him. Nice guy. Yeah, he's he's got doing a, practical jokes at Auschwitz. I mean, you know, like uh, it. I pretending to be retarded. You know, look, anybody with a sense of humor can't be all bad. That's, I agree. Yeah.